Hi, Miss Roxanne here. Welcome to Social Awareness and Relationship Skills. And we're under the umbrella of sports and fitness. So today we're going to talk about concussions. And I'm sure you know what a concussion is. If you like football, you hear it all the time. People getting um, concussions from football, from the hits, uh, even from you know, playing other sports too, you can get a concussion. You get a concussion skateboarding. So let's, uh, let's look at that. But the first thing I need you to do is have a piece of paper and a pencil handy, put your name on it, your cottage and your teacher, Miss Lockwood. I'm going to give you six vocabulary words and it's part of your assignment for grading. So please write down those six and I'm going to give you the definitions. At any time during the video, if I'm going too fast, don't, don't hesitate to stop, rewind if you need to, um, and it's totally okay. So I'm going to do the vocabulary words first with your definitions, and then we're going to go uh, watch the movie, we're going to do the quiz, I'm going to review the, the vocabulary words again for you just in case, um, then we're going to do the worksheet, and uh, then you'll have an assignment that we'll talk about when we get through all of the stuff that is laid out. So let's get started with those vocabulary words for you. And here we are. So the first one is fluid. Now remember, we're talking about concussions. So fluid, F-L-U-I-D. And that definition is capable of flowing changing shape at a steady rate, capable of flowing, changing shape at a steady rate, fluid. Subside, S-U-B-S-I-D-E. To subside is to sink low or to lower level, become quiet or less active. To sink low or to lower level, become quiet or less active. Her sobbing subsided with time. All right. Linger, L-I-N-G-E-R, linger. Oh, I didn't write a jump on. All right, to remain or stay in place longer than usual. To remain or stay in place longer than usually expected. Let me type this out for you. To remain or stay in place longer than usually expected. Okay, I think I did the same to all of them, so that's okay. Contort, C-O-N-T-O-R-T. What is it to contort? To twist, bend, or draw out of shape. To twist. Bend or draw out of shape. Contort. Exertion. E X E R T I O N. Exertion. So it's vigorous. Vigorous action. Or, oops, sorry. Action or effort. Vigorous action or effort. And your last one, susceptible, susceptible, S U S C E P T I B L E, susceptible. And that is admitting, admitting or cape 
a bowl of some specific, specified treatment. Admitting or capable of some specified treatment. Susceptible. Remember, you can always stop the video. Okay. So those are your, um, your vocab. So let's go ahead and do the movie. We'll watch that. And when we're finished with the movie, we'll continue to the quiz. Moby, 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 are you okay? You know, you really should be wearing a helmet. Dear Tim and Moby, my friend banged her head during our last soccer game. She seemed fine, but had to miss the rest of the game. Why can't she play if she feels okay? From Ronnie. Hey Ronnie, your coach was probably concerned that your friend had a concussion. It's the most common type of head injury and one of the most puzzling. Even though your brain's been injured, you can look and even feel okay. Concussions usually result from a sudden blow to the head. Any kid who plays sports knows you can't always avoid being hit. Contact sports are especially dangerous. But concussions can happen any time you bump your head or take a really bad spill. Car accidents. Boom pop band. Are you sure you're okay? Right. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, car accidents are another major cause of concussions. Actually, you don't have to bang your head at all. With concussions, it's the shaking more than the impact that causes the harm. The whipping motion is too much for our delicate brains to handle. Well, they're about as fragile as a bowl of jello. That's why the brain has so much protection. It's surrounded by fluid and layers of protective membranes. This cushioning system is encased with hard bone, the cranium. The cranium safeguards the brain against serious injury. But in a concussion, it's actually part of the problem. Any serious jolt can cause your brain to slam against it. It can even rock back and forth multiple times. There's actually little or no physical damage to your brain's nerve cells or neurons. But when your brain sloshes around, those cells stretch and contort. The distorted neurons have trouble communicating properly. So your brain has a much harder time processing information. Well, that's the scary part of a concussion. What might feel like a minor bump can still cause trouble. You may not have any cuts or bruises and you don't always lose consciousness. In fact, kids rarely do. So concussions can easily go unnoticed. They're not exactly invisible, but they don't always show up on imaging tests. MRIs and CT scans can only detect things like bleeding and swelling. The only way to tell if you have a concussion is if you show any symptoms. At first, you might feel confused and even have blurry or double vision. You may experience headaches along with dizziness and nausea. Other symptoms don't show up immediately. Problems with memory and concentration are common. You might also have trouble falling asleep or staying awake. Mood swings can also make you cranky or upset. Sitting things out is the only way to heal a concussion. Those tweaked neurons just need time to work out the kinks. That's why doctors recommend resting your body and mind. Well, definitely no physical exertion whatsoever. No television, video games, no texting or tablets. You have to avoid taxing your brain in any way, Moby. That means no reading, homework, or tests either. Doctors will keep a close eye on you until all your symptoms subside. The good news is that they usually fade away within a few weeks. That means your neurons are healed up and your brain is back to normal. Some people do experience post-concussive syndrome. That's when symptoms linger for months or even years. Unlike with the initial injury, rest doesn't seem to help. And if another concussion happens, the recovery is even longer. 
That's the really mysterious thing about concussions. Once you have one, you're more susceptible to having another, and getting repeated concussions can be serious trouble. Researchers have linked it to severe depression and long-term memory loss. In some cases, it can lead to chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. CTE causes brains to shrink, lose weight, and basically wither away. These discoveries have rocked the sports world, especially football. All-stars are now quitting the game out of concern for their health. Well, it's hard to avoid collisions when it's your job to smash into people. That's why coaches are teaching kids new ways to play certain sports, like heads-up tackling in football, and injured players have to pass rigorous tests before they can return to action. Right, concussions don't just happen on the field. That's why safety gear is a must, even if you're just messing around. Golden Owl. Right, we're taking you home. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that quiz. All right, when you get a concussion, the hard bo bone of the cranium, A, helps limit the severity of the energy in injury, is part of what causes the damage, keeps the brain immobile, or releases layers, release layers of protective fluid. So they said that um, the bone is also part of the problem. It causes, it, is part of what causes the damage because the brain slams up back and forth. Um, you ever heard of shaken baby syndrome? Um, that's what happens to babies when abusers shake them. Their little brain just smacks the cranium and causes can cause death in infants. All right, concussions cause neurons to contort, impeding brain functions. What can you infer from this statement? Neurons don't function properly when they are twisted out of shape, or concussions cause large numbers of neurons to die off, or the swelling of neurons is a sign that someone has a concussion, or D, concussions lead to severe long-term brain damage. Well, con concussions, cause large numbers of neurons. Is that it? I think it's that the neurons don't function properly. Isn't that what it showed us? That they kind of like stop the trail and fade off and just don't work right. Why are concussion symptoms such as a headache or insomnia often overlooked? They are associated with much more dangerous conditions or they are, there are no reliable methods to test for these symptoms? These symptoms are rarely, if ever, that severe with concussions, or they, they are incredibly common and often unrelated to large health issues. That's right. They are overlooked because, oh, you have a headache, no big deal. Sometimes it is a big deal, though. What is the best way to determine if someone just got a concussion? Ask her if she passed out or lost con consciousness. Uh, ex examine her head for bumps, bruises, or cuts. Give her a diagnostic body scan like an MRI. Or evaluate her to see if she exhibit, exhibits symptoms. She, that's the one. Evaluate. Um, if they are, you know, have word salad coming out of their mouth, that's kind of like, you know, the mountain is swimming with the owl. Like, what? There's probably something wrong there. All right, number five. Which of these people run? Which of these people runs the risk of developing chronic traumatic encephal encephalopathy? All right, a construction worker, a basketball player, a boxer, or a race car driver. I'm going to say the boxer because he's getting his melon hit all the time. Yes. What would be the most helpful get well gift for someone recuperating from a concussion? Do we give them a movie, a blockbuster movie? 
play a playlist of nature sounds, 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle, holy bay, a trip to an amusement park. Well, concussions, in order to heal, you need quiet. So I would, I would get them a playlist of just natural sounds, maybe the ocean or a forest with the birds tweeting. All right, something calming. All right, number seven. Multiple concussions are to long-term memory as hammers are to nails, mountains are to avalanches, waves are to sandcastles, or D, gasoline is to a campfire. Well, that would be C, waves, because they destroy sandcastles. And it can really destroy your long-term memory if you have, get a lot of concussions. If a person gets a concussion, he or she will always experience lingering symptoms or doubles his chances to get a CTE or should immediately take a long nap or is more susceptible to future concussions. Yep, if you get a concussion once, you could get another one and, and more. Take care of your brains. All right, which of the following is an opinion about concussions? Remember, opinions are not facts. They're just something that we feel or something that we've been told that um, is gonna happen. But uh, usually opinions don't follow up with many facts. Okay, so what is an opinion here? Additional concussions require more time to heal. Doctors don't take concussions seriously enough. Even slight jolts can lead to a concussion. Or concussions don't always lead to a loss of consciousness. So, B, doctors don't take concussions seriously. Really? I think they really do, so that's got to be somebody's opinion. Maybe they didn't get treated right, you know, and that's how they formed their opinion. Okay, number 10. What is the best way to protect professional athletes from long-term damage caused by concussions? This is a really big subject. Many football players have had to quit the game because of the uh, concussions. So let's see, what can we do? Can we use harder, stronger safe, safety gear? Enforce better regulations of performance enhancing drugs? Require a team of doctors at all games? Or is it D, developing more rigorous screening tests? Well, I mean, at first I thought, well, it's got to be using harder, stronger safety gear, right? Because wouldn't that help? But really, I, once I thought about it, developing more rigorous screening tests, I think, would be better. Because sometimes concussions just go unmissed because, like they said, it doesn't have, you might get a little tiny headache. You might not show any symptoms. So let me see if my deduction is right. Yay. Okay. So we're going to go back to our vocabulary words as promised, and uh, we'll review those again. Eventually, it'll show us your vocabulary words again. Here we go. And so just remember, fluid, fluid, capable of flowing, changing shape at a steady rate, capable of flowing changing shape at a steady rate. Subside, to sink low or to lower level, become quiet or less active. Linger, to remain or stay in place longer than usually expected. Somebody who's lingering to eavesdrop. It's like, what are you doing here? Move on, okay. Contort, contort, to twist, bend, or draw out of shape. To twist, bend, or draw out of shape. 
Exertion, vigorous action or effort. Exertion. The last one is susceptible. Susceptible, admitting or capable of some specific treatment. Okay. So let's just talk about writings before I bring up the, the assignment. Remember that when you are uh, doing this writing uh, assignment for Miss Lockwood, you're going to remember your capitalization of your first word and names and ending your punctuation. And write a topic sentence identifying your point or opinion, three sentences with supporting ideas, and one conclusion sentence summarizing your point or your opinion. Write a draft. Review it, checking, make sure it says what you mean and include conventions, okay? Um, and the five sentence uh, convention. So we're gonna look at the worksheet. Okay, so let's get that worksheet up. And you're going to list examples. Okay, it says write down concussion symptoms, other causes, and explain it. Okay, so here are, you're going to write down this whole thing, list the examples, list three symptoms of a concussion, then explain another condition or situation that also might cause these same symptoms. So. Write three symptoms of concussion and other causes. And then in the explain it at the bottom, based on your answers above, explain how this information might affect the process of diagnosing a concussion. You're going to write five sentences in response to this using three vocabulary words. Turn in your work for grading. Have a good day.